Went is a coming, you two. Went is a coming. <sighs> Just huffing some logs up to the uh, up to the four wheeler. Um, in the back, I'm looking for uh, standing dead. I mean, I got a stockpile that I already got for this winter, but I like this time of the year to come out and look for some dead stuff that's ready to go so I can burn right away and I also get to look around and see if I see any deer signs so I like walking through the woods in this time of the year and I did happen to see a nice buck on the way in so that's good anyway that ain't what I'm out here for I'm out here to get firewood still got another month a little over that to get to that deer hunting but anyway all the way in the back of the piece of the property I found a nice uh, big old dead oak that's probably been sitting here standing here for the longest time and it finally blew over I mean let me just flip it around and I'll show you what I'm talking about well here it is you can see that it's been dead for a long time and it finally blew over looks kind of rotty doesn't it but looks can be deceiving because it might be a little rotty, maybe half inch, if that, and then it is solid like a rock. I mean, almost petrified. <laughs> My sore is crying trying to get through it. Well, anyway, it is bone dry and it's ready to burn, so we'll be cutting this guy up. That little piece right there, I mean, I did a quick count on the rings, and I counted 75. Could have been more, could have been less. I think it was more, because I was just rushing through it. So this tree, I would say, is probably double that or more. I mean, that trunk right there has got to be almost three feet in diameter. Maybe maybe close to three, but it's a pretty big tree. And I like burning oak. This right here is so bone dry. It's going to give me a lot of heat. So I'll be back here cutting this guy up for a few days. And also got a couple of trees that it knocked down. This is a hemlock. I'll be making some lumber out of that. Probably make a couple 4x4 four four posts out of that, 10 footers. Out of my Alaskan sawmill. This guy looks like a maple and I got two cherries over here. Well, that'll be for next year. But I'll cut it up and get it out of here. I ain't gonna let this tree go to waste. I mean, this is prime wood. Don't have to let it dry. I'll just split it up, ready to burn. A lot of wood in here. Gotta be a couple cord of wood. If I can get my saw through that, <laughs> I only got an 18 inch bar, but I'll try. I'll start down that end and knock the weight off and work my way up. All right, YouTube, I got to get back to it. It looks like it's threatening rain today. And it's a little humid, but I've got to start getting the wood going. It's probably, you know, September's right around the corner. You could be into end of September into the middle of October. You'd be burning some wood already at night. So, got to get moving. Got to get this nice dry stuff stacked up. All right. Take it easy, YouTube. I'll be seeing you.